morning everybody welcome back <clears throat> it's five o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm tired of it I'm tired of it not being hunting season so I got my new bow tech dialed in yesterday and uh, at the bow shop came home shot it with the broadheads and I'm ready to put it to the test I just got done eating some kolaches from check stop um, but I'm headed out to the ranch so uh, we've had some awdad some axis and some pigs showing up at the feeder super super early um, so I'm trying to hustle out there and get out there before the sun rises and uh, once we get out there I'm gonna hop in the golf cart and sneak around and try to stalk into some of these food plots and feeders and hopefully run across either an axis uh, an audad or a pig um, I would be super stoked with any of those um, so I'll see y'all when we get out there and then I'm sure I'll be scrambling um, to get on the golf cart as soon as we get there so I'll see you when we're hunting all right guys we have arrived got the bow set up my bow tech we are going to head to the back and I'm gonna do a little walking and stalking. Hopefully we uh, get lucky and run across something. So let's get after it. directly with the 
feeder and put me 52 yards from 52 yards from the feeder so it's still cool out it's let's see what time it is it's probably only 7 15 7 24 so uh perfect 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 i love hunting i can't wait for elk season but uh iron wheel broadheads has never failed me so let's go look for blood see if we can find this joker all right guys so i was standing i was kneeling right here feeders behind me range it 52 yards to the feeder and the pig that i shot was actually to the right of the feeder so let's get over here oh there goes a big buck two big bucks three big bucks see y'all in a couple months so hopefully he or she did not go very far but it was a shoulder shot directly in the shoulder so right here and then she ran he or she ran that way so I'm gonna try to get on some blood I will show y'all if I do and uh, hopefully it didn't go too far well I haven't found any blood yet I haven't looked that much at either but I'm decided that uh, I'm gonna give it a little more time so I'm gonna take the golf cart back because it's almost dead I'm gonna grab the can-am um, so I don't get stranded out here on the golf cart um, so I'm gonna make my way back to the shop grab the can-am come back out here and uh, try to find this joker I really don't think it went that far because that arrow was dug halfway deep and those iron wool broadheads are nasty so um, it's just really hard to see right now with the way that the sun's positioned so I'll see you guys here in a minute but I think we'll find it all right guys we have found blood so I'm gonna keep trying to stay on this blood and uh, I'll keep you guys updated well guys I have been tracking this blood for about an hour now and all I'm getting is a spot like that about every 10 feet so it's really tough this pig keeps zigzagging there's another little drop uh, right there so I will keep all updated it's starting to get hot and we need to uh, find it soon obviously the sooner the better but uh gonna just stay on this trail taking me about five minutes each time to find the next speck I've honestly been looking for ants because uh, they're covering the red stuff so looking for that right there the next one and it's somewhere in here oh it's hot guys unfortunately i tracked it um i lost blood so i just went in the direction i thought he or she was going and i got way back deep into the uh this thicket of cedars and i busted a big uh black pig out i didn't see an arrow but I don't know. I tracked that blood for almost an hour and 45 minutes. And uh, it just kept getting spottier and spottier. So the problem with, it has nothing to do with the broadhead. Um, it was just one of those shots. I think it might've been a boar hog because they hit that shoulder and they have a big, uh, like a fighting plate. And uh, sometimes when it gets stuck in that, it just 
kind of seals up the hole and doesn't let a whole lot of blood out. So there's no doubt that it was a fatal shot. Um, it just may take a lot longer than I'd hope it to. But I'm pretty sure the way that that pig ran off, um, it was him. So I'll try to show you that tree line right there. It gets super thick in there and I walk back in there and about 50 yards in front of me and bolt it out, so. Well, that's how hunting goes. I hope y'all can see the shot placement and the video. If not, I'll zoom in on a pig and show you exactly where I hit it. Um, that's how hunting goes though. You don't always make the best shots. I mean, that's the thing though, it was a great shot. It just uh, hit that, either hit his shoulder bone or just that plate that they have on their shoulders just puts a stop to that arrow pretty quick. So I have no doubt though that it went in far enough to hit heart and the blood that I was seeing looked like heart, but it just may have barely nicked it. And it sucks, but um, I'm not going to end it here. I'm going to finish this video out for you guys. I think I got some uh, pig in the freezer at the house. So we'll go home and cook some pig up. I know y'all didn't get to see me um, successfully in this hunt like I'd like to. And you didn't get to see a cleaning portion of this video, but um, it's just the way it goes sometimes. So I'll see you guys when we get back to the house and uh, we'll cook up some pig for lunch. All right guys, so didn't end up with a pig, but this is how I package my pig when I have extra pig BS backstrap. So perfect little chunk of meat for lunch. And we're gonna do something that is delicious and make some Hawaiian roll sandwiches for lunch. So all I'm gonna do is cut this silver skin off. Take that silver skin right off that bottom side just like that there's your silver skin dog food that side's good cut off a little bit on the inside and there's just a little bit that runs through where it connects to the ribs so we're going to take that off too this is uh i'm sure a lot of y'all know this recipe you can do it with like ham and cheese um but it's really good with wild meat too. So I'm just gonna slice it into thin pieces like that. And these are gonna go on our Hawaiian rolls. So I'm gonna slice these up, then we're gonna fry them, then we're gonna put everything together and put it in the oven. So we're gonna hit them with a little bit of Critter Glitter Red. And guys, if y'all are new to the channel or if you've been waiting for this, we're back in stock and y'all can get it at my website, moltman.net. I uh, got two different kinds of seasonings, one for fish and fowl. Dove season's coming very soon, so we'll be using that a lot. And then this one is for like red meats and pork and whatnot. So I'm gonna take these, drop them into a little bag of flour, shake them up. We're just gonna lightly fry them real quick. Bring them over here. Do some grease, just shallow frying them. We'll let those cook up and then we'll start making our Hawaiian rolls. All right, so these guys, I didn't cook them all the way through, just you just wanna get them uh, browned on each side. Should probably use a fork for this. So we're gonna place them all on here. Just like that. Now we are going to take these slices of cheese. It's better if you don't use plastic cheese like this, but 
make about a half a slice for each one. They'll melt down deliciously. And then we're gonna put some ranch on the top bun. And then we're gonna coat the top bun with some garlic butter. So I'll melt some garlic butter down real quick. And then uh, we'll put that ranch on and it will be delicious. All right, so I got my butter melted down, got some garlic salt in there, some fresh rosemary and some fresh parsley. I'm gonna put a little dollop of ranch on all these. You can do mayonnaise or marinara sauce or whatever you like. That was a lot. Just like that. I'm gonna put all these back on. Super simple and super delicious. So put all those on. We're gonna brush all these down like that. And then they're going in the oven at 350 for about 10, 15 minutes. So I'll see you when they're done and we're gonna eat good. Alrighty, our sandwiches are done. I went a little long, a little, a little brown on top, but they're still gonna be delicious. I'm gonna let them cool for just a second and then we'll do a taste test. So I already took a bite to see how hot it was. It's very hot, but it is delicious. So give y'all another bite. I'd say if you're trying to get your kids or your wife into eating wild game, this is about the easiest way to do it. That piece of meat uh, obviously stayed together, but it is delicious. I'll give this for wild pig, give it like a nine one out of 10. It's delicious. You can't unfortunately taste the pig all that much, but the whole combo is delicious. Well, I'm sorry again that this video did not turn out how I wanted it to or you, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, more hunting content coming. I'm gonna try to stick to just hunting content um, for the next couple months. May have a few fishing videos here and there. We all leave in the comments what y'all wanna see. Until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Go visit my merch site, mulletman.net. Uh, I got pig back strap in my teeth. Go check it out, get you some shirts. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Eat good.